Well, making a New Year's resolution can be easy, but keeping it is the hard part. In 2017, many people say they have the same resolution as years past, getting fit and staying healthy. And that's why the Canadian Health Food Association set up looking for the top natural food trends of 2017. Food can be a powerful source of change and Canadians are increasingly recognizing the benefits of healthy eating, whether it's for weight loss or to increase energy. More than ever now, Canadians are harnessing the power of food and embracing the effects that food has on our minds and our bodies. And joining me now with the top five health food trends of 2017, holistic nutritionist and spokesperson Michelle Book of the Canadian Health Food Association. Welcome. Thanks for having me. It's so great to see you and particularly after the last segment where we're talking about how important food is in brain health very it, important it right? is so important and it's all about prevention and, and what we can do and, and staying healthy and as you say exercise as well is so so important I think mm -hmm. that's why these trends especially this time of year when we all want to be healthy mm -hmm. very top of mind so starting over here with sprouts okay so this is a trend of 2017 people it, want to be sprouting yeah. things they are sprouting things what the, is that yeah they, they want to be sprouting more we all want to be sprouting more and when we sprout something we actually unlock the nutrients the vitamins and minerals that are found in that specific food. So we can sprout at home, you can get your own kit and seeds and do your own sprouting, or you can actually purchase products that have sprouted ingredients in them. All right, so what are some of the things you brought in here? So we actually brought some sprouts, and this is actually a sprouter here and, and some seeds, which you can find at your local CHFA member health food store. Okay. So if you visit our website, chfa.ca, we actually have a step-by-step -step guide that takes you through how you can actually sprout at home. And then different foods, um, you know, we've got some bread up here that's actually sprouted. You can find that in your freezer section at your health food store, um, and as well as granola bars, different options to incorporate more sprouted foods into your diet. Why is that important, Michelle? What does it do for you? Well, it's, it's the vitamin and minerals that are released or that are, and are and our body is able to access and absorb when a uh, seed is actually sprouted. Okay. A lot of these important vitamins and minerals are actually, uh, I want to say, lost or destroyed during food processing. Okay. So when we eat uh, food with sprouted ingredients or actually sprout our own, we get a lot of these vitamins and, and minerals that are really, really important. Also, uh, you know, I like sprouting this time of year because we eat a lot of, you know, warm, cooked comfort foods. So it's a little bit of summer. You know, I find That's this right. time of year a bit of crunch and green that the we don't always have. sprouts on the sandwich. All yeah. The sandwich. Okay, the second one is vegetable-based dairy products? Plant-based, yes. <laughs> uh, dairy, dairy alternatives. And you know, dairy uh, or plant based diets, plant based diets, very trendy yeah. this year. A lot of people looking for ways to, to maybe remove, uh, uh, you know, or, or incorporate more plants into their diet. Um, and so there's lots of alternatives. So we've got some uh, cheese here. This is actually a coconut yogurt, you can uh, see right here. Mm. And then, you know, we've all heard of almond, soy milk. This is actually a cashew milk. Oh. Also, flaxseed or hemp milk, very trendy. And some chocolate uh, as well. Would you like to try? I uh, no. <laughs> it's 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 dairy. It's a vegetable-based chocolate. It's a dairy-free chocolate. Yes. Oh my so goodness. So what delicious. kind of vegetable do you use to make? Well, it's cocoa beans. Yes, it's cocoa beans. Okay. And without the the milk additives and with coconut sugar to sweeten it. Oh my so goodness. So it's it's a little bit healthier. It still has sugar in it. So you know you want to be mindful of that. But again, it's just an alternative. And these these kind of options that we can experiment, especially this time of year, when again we all want to be a bit healthier. Yeah, for sure. Okay, and let's move on then. This is probiotics, and this is a huge huge trend, right? With digestive enzymes. Digestive enzymes. But it's interesting thing. because a lot of people get them confused. Yeah, well I um, did obviously. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Uh, digestive enzymes help us to break down our foods. Um, so, you know, if you eat, you feel bloated, gassy, you might not have enough digestive enzymes. Now, as we age because of stress, our digestive enzymes can decrease over time. Mm. So you might want to speak to your healthcare practitioner about digestive enzymes if they are right for you. Now, our body does produce digestive enzymes that are also found in foods like pine apples, papaya. Mm. Um, that's yummy. Yes, it is very, very yummy. But digestive enzymes also can be destroyed with cooking. So again, we want to make sure that, that we're getting enough. Um, and it's something that you, you might want to consider supplementing. And it's different from probiotics then? Yes, it's okay. different because digestive enzymes we actually can produce. Probiotics we can't actually produce. They're a bacterial strand. So again, we need them from our food or through supplementation. All right. All right. We're on to the fourth trend of 2017. And my favorite so far, this is one of my favorite things, mushrooms. Good, good. I love them. But you've brought some really funky ones. Yes. 
Yes, we have. And mushrooms, you know, high in B vitamins, selenium, and copper, important minerals uh, if we are eating mushrooms. But there's also a lot of research being done on the medicinal properties of, of, of mushrooms and why they're so good. So for example, shaga mushrooms, we've got some up here, these dried mushrooms. Um, if you visit our website, chfa.ca, we've got a great video. I know we were showing some of those videos before, how to make a great mushroom tea. Mm -hmm. A lot of immune boosting properties in these types of mushrooms, so this time of year especially. Uh, and these mushrooms are great because they're dried, so you can use them and then once you use them, you can put them in your, the freezer and reuse them again. Oh, So uh, yeah, yeah, it's it's, Fantastic. Uh, okay, and this final one over here is fiber, which we have all heard about, right? But kind of cool fiber. Exactly. It's so true. Smart carb options. Smart carbs. So we, we know carbs, you know, white pasta, white rice kind of get a bad rap. Mm -hmm. So it's about, you know, finding other alternatives. So we've got some different types of, of pasta here, some uh, bean pasta. We also have some uh, spiralized zucchini noodles. Oh, cool. Yeah, which is which is a really great alternative. And these, are, uh, these here are shiitake um, noodles. These these are made out of tofu, but you can actually take them out of the bag, you rinse them, you only need to boil them for two or three minutes, and they really absorb the flavor of whatever sauce you're using. Mm. So and just, you've even got chips. Yes, those a, are. A health food person brought in chips. <laughs> <laughs> They're bean chips, still, you know, chip, but if we want to indulge, it's a healthier option. And chickpeas, these are one of my actual personal favorite snacks. Great when you're on the go, good for kids' lunches as well. Um, and, and just another alternative for healthier snacking. All right, so overall for 2017, it's the same message of Every year, right? Eat well. Yes. Eat fresh. Yes. Anything else? It, it's about you know the whole a uh, whole food plant-based diet and experimenting with different things. You know, it can be, seem overwhelming. You know, all the all the trends, but just taking you know even one trend. Maybe you maybe you incorporate some sprouts into your into your diet, or you try to you know have a different type of pasta. Experimenting for what works for you and just trying to live a healthier lifestyle. All right, Michelle, thank you so much. Thank you. Great to meet you, and thank you for this beautiful display you brought in. That thank is you. Michelle Book, and if you want to have uh, more information uh, about Michelle and uh, and the uh, and the uh, foods that she just talked about, you can visit the website at chfa. .ca. There, got it. Thank Perfect. You, Michelle, thank Take you. Care, everyone. Have a great day.